It's a secret bookcase. To a room with no treasure in it. The thing is, I know that all of these rooms had treasure in them at one point. But now they don't have treasure. Now they don't have treasure. And I want them to have treasure. Uh, just done filing out my fifth personal uh, personnel employment reference for friends and colleagues. Put the, the man the vid. <laughs> yeah. It's... I, so, you know, a lot of my friends and colleagues work in television, and we just keep talking about, man, as soon as we're allowed to all be in a room, some projects we might work on, and it just keeps not happening. We keep, all, of the video, all of the video projects I've been able to do have all been streaming-based video projects. Not that streaming isn't video, I guess it's just like with a camera. Right? This is a webcam. And this is obviously a, a triumph of technology, but like actual photography. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time on the phone over the weekend with talking about a potential project that we could work on. And yeah, let's we'll see if we ever get to do it. The thing is, once we're allowed to do it, we'll probably all just get back to work. Like, you know, working for money. <laughs> and because uh, apparently, apparently Publix doesn't take, it doesn't take the coolness of a project. It only takes it only takes United States dollars. So, working for money. How droll. Yes, how trite. How, how a blasé. How very prosaic. Yeah, save my progress. Absolutely. Zangarang. But my name was going to be Zang in space. No one can hear you scream at Sue. But that was too many characters. <laughs> Did the character... The character name, while pretty generous with characters, apparently won't let you have an indefinite character pool. Breaking paintings. Sangetsu, well known for hating art. Snickle, good morning. Good morning, great to see you. Yeah, there's a new mode for Bloodstained. A new mode for Bloodstained. We're playing as the as the second boss swordsman, and also like third to last final boss swordsman. Zangetsu. Or as I was just saying, what I wanted to name him, Zang in space, no one can hear you scream at Zoo. But instead I had to go for a Zangarang. I assume there's just no elevator in here? Am I gonna get smashed by an elevator? Unlimited uppercuts. Howdy howdy. Oh no, there is an elevator. It's just not turned on right now. Okay. Gosh, I really could use the blue roses. <laughs> I really need the, the life. Moonwalk. I have no beef with you portraits. I just need the blue roses. I just need the mana roses. Moonwalk. Uppercuts. How am I supposed to get through this? Wait. I can uppercut jump. <laughs> of course. Poison, poison dart frogs. I got no beef with you frogs. Just trying to work my way through this map. Fight some twin dragons. How is Zangetsu going to take the train? That's that's like when we started working together, Zangetsu and Miriam. It was when it was time to take the train. Moonwalk of death. I resisted the poison. Okay. I don't know that I don't know if that necessarily means I will always resist the poison. Or if I just got a lucky resist on that particular outing of being poisoned. Thought I could parry that. Didn't hit the parry. Didn't hit the uh, didn't hit the parody. The parry button. Or the parody button. Oh, that's right. Plus mana. I'll take that. Uh, done more research on the aforementioned Jack Hammer's massage thingy. Oh yeah, with your actual back, like practical research. The the cats, the cats purring on you, Jack Hammer. It's actually a saw. Oh, interesting. 
like a battery operated saw that has a massage attachment. That's a good, that's a good idea. I mean, because you, you, you just, you have a battery powered engine that you, I just, I've never thought about uses of it that weren't drilling or sanding or whatever dremeling is. I don't even know if that's a verb. I wouldn't describe myself as super handy. I'm sort of the opposite of Weird Al's parody of fancy handy. Oh, it's a plug-in saw, still. You have, you have a motor, a, a motor that gives you rotational energy. How you choose to use that. Activate. Elevator. Elevator. Activated. How am I going to fight this twin dragon when I don't have access to all my magic that I was using as Miriam? Much cheaper than a massage gun. I'm back, baby. Welcome back, Sugar Free D. Sugar Free Diesel. Slice. Slice. I'm murning. I get murning, everyone. It is still morning. Yes. Zhuk. Zhuk. Son of a... Okay, those spikes do hurt me. That's good to know. Because I was starting to wonder if maybe I just had Aegis Plate equipped somehow. Uh, wait a minute, you can play a dude in this game? Rickover 63 good morning. Good morning, great to see you. Yes. Last week, they released a patch where you can now play as Zangetsu. And you can play... the. There's a randomizer mode. Two modes got added to the game. This is, of course, Zangetsu mode. Just bear in mind... It's for the Xbox, PlayStation, and PC releases. The Switch version is coming later. So that asterisk one, asterisk two, you, so you'll turn on, you know, your console or computer of choice. You'll download the patch and you won't see it, at least for me. I had to then, I had to load my clear data and then beat the final boss again. And then it unlocked Zangetsu mode and uh, Zangetsu mode and randomizer mode. Last week, I want to say it was the, at the end of last week. Don't hold me to that. I don't know what time is anymore. I think, I think it came out sometime last week. But I don't, couldn't, wouldn't swear to it. <laughs> you have to, like, fight the true final boss and get the real ending. And even if you have beaten the game, you have to do that just one more time. And then, yeah, you get Zangetsu and uh, randomizer mode. I'm, I'm actively intimidated by randomizer mode. I want to give it a try, but I'm a very... I can't... I, I don't even know what to expect, because I've only ever watched people do randomizers for charity streams and stuff. You know, games done quick and stuff like that. I've never played a randomizer before. And so... I am interested in trying it, but I'm also uh, scared. Can one person use it or does it take two? It depends on the area you're working on, I suppose. If you're doing like legs, you could do it yourself. <laughs> Aiming for the lower back, you should probably have someone else do it. But it's not like a jackhammer where it requires an operation crew of two people <laughs> to, to then uh, operate the machine on a third person. It's not like a jackhammer <laughs> where, it, where you need to have a, uh... Oh, jeez. I'm inside the dragon. Is that a concern for the good guys? Critical hit. Yeah, you better back up. You better back up. Come. Come. Okay, guarded that one. Nice. Nice. I'm looking forward to streaming this game. How do I get the true end? It, it'll be... I mean... It, I guess the before I answer that, how familiar you are? How familiar are you with? Uh, did that? I was supposed to duck. I thought I had won. <laughs> are you familiar with uh, Castlevania games, starting with maybe like Aria of Sorrow, where there was like a secret ending and, a, and stuff like that? That was unnecessary damage. I'm gonna boop you on your snoot until... Okay. Got him.
uh, there are, because there, you'll get to the, the last time I played a game like this was Symphony of the Night. Okay. Changed my hat situation. <laughs> uh, yeah, what kind of hat situation would you like uh, there, there, Shifty? So there's a, there's a uh, top hat. Okay. Makes sense. Very Victorian. We are fighting, oh, posture check. Good, good call. My, my top hat is far too tall. Let's go ahead and drop this down. I know I love this game. Yeah, it's, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game that did exactly what I wanted, which was like take all the good ideas from Castlevania and Metroid style adventure games and put them in a game. <laughs> put all the good ideas into a game. <laughs> Just go ahead and wait for this elevator. Uh, I'm spoiling quite a bit, uh, Rickover. I will go ahead and warn you that I'm not playing. When you play a Zangetsu. You know, I, I have, this is not the order you will most likely move through the game. This is not the power level, as you, I'm sure you're aware, having played the beginning. Miriam does not start off nearly as strong as, as Zangetsu starts off. And I have far more traversal power than I'm, than you will have at the beginning of the game. Like an unlimited triple jump, or an unlimited jump already. Stuff like that. Alt character new game plus mode. Exactly. Well said. Well said, Sugar Free D. But also, I guess it's since there aren't any cuts, basically there's no cutscenes in this mode either. So there's not really any plot that you're seeing. So, you know, there's no... None of this stuff really has any context <laughs> for, for what you'll experience when you play through it. <laughs> ah... Don't worry, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I just realized I'm taking a lot. I've taken a lot of damage. I just fought a... Just fought a boss and I haven't actually healed. Destroy the playmates! They're just bunnies! They're just bunnies from hell! Need a light? Oh, thanks for the follow, Recover. Or, or Recover. Appreciate you. Need a light. You got my attention. Save complete. And fully healed, since you'll notice one of the things that Zangetsu cannot do uh, is have an inventory. <laughs> so he doesn't have... I don't have access to any potions or items. And that is <laughs> making it... My ability to just sort of run around is very powerful until I... Until I run out of uh, health, and then it's like, oh, I just have no way to recover health. There is no way I can I can recover health. And so, like when this lady, if she curses me, I get in some real trouble. Have you played a game recently that doesn't feature hell? Hearthstone, but even they have demons and stuff. Yeah, and I actually I have a I have a hell card back. In I have one or two hell card backs in Hearthstone. Kind of. Zhang is an edgelord tryhard. I feel like you need this waistcoat in real life. Yeah, this is... Pr it's Oh, there's a sweet insignia on the back. So I have my... Yeah, I guess the closest thing I have is a duster. Is my, my red duster. It's not nearly as... Um, not nearly as red. Mine's a much darker red. My duster is... <laughs> I feel like right now, you can't see it because his hair is really long and edgy, but he currently has in headphones playing just that 2009 playlist. Just 2009 on shuffle repeat the whole time, and he's currently made it to Avril Lavigne's Complicated. And I think that's what he's listening to right now. Once Leave Samurai Look, always a favorite of mine. Yeah! Inspired by, was it... It was Final Fantasy X, right? Where you had the, the one-armed samurai. Not one-armed samurai, but the one-sleeve samurai. Oren, I want to say. Was it Oren? He's got his AirPods in. He can't hear us. Yeah, he can't hear us. He can't hear us. He's not, not listening to us. He's right now listening about how stuff it makes uh, her frustrated. <laughs> I've been listening to, like, the goods. Oh, yeah. Man, I listened to... the And the... The flashback response that I had, especially when I listened to, was it, is it Famous Last Words at the very end of the Black Parade? It's like, man, this just reminds me of 
have of bombing through the night with all the windows down and the system up. Need to increase my stream time. Doom Eternal's taking too long. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, just windows down, system up, blasting like 2 o'clock in the morning. Just brought, snapped me back to that moment instantly. Uh, thanks for the tips. Hey, enjoy, enjoy your time with this game. I freaking love this game. And I hope that you will as, as well. Not because of any particular loyalty to this game, just because I hope that while playing games you're having a good time. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> I really, I would just prefer everyone to be having a good time and for every streamer to succeed. Those are my two... I would, I would really prefer both of those things to be the case. You heard the news that you're dead. My 2009 music playlist is from then, but also music that radiates a similar energy. Yeah, because I think, whoops, I think that specific night that I remember when I listened to Famous Last Words on Super Loud was technically in maybe 2006. It was in it was in Washington D.C. And we were just bombing through the streets of D.C. with that with that album playing super loud, uh, and also you know teenagers scare the uh, I think it's just called teenagers and uh, other stuff that you can shout that you can shout sing really loud. Those are your two things. Also hats, but just those three things. Hey, Brando show. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. And we all pantom all there was three of us in the car at the time, and we were all pantomiming playing the instruments as hard as possible. And I was driving and playing the drums at the same time, it was very unsafe. Because I would let go of the steering wheel to play the drums. <laughs> do I sink? I do. Interesting. Playlist. I feel like I'm craving eyeliner wearing a thin black hoodie. Just a just because you want a black hoodie, not because it's cold. Just those three things and glasses. I, I like glasses a lot as well. But just those four, just those four things. Letting go of the steering wheel is for winners. Definitely a winner move. I've completely lost the plot of where I'm going. I'm just running around. I'm just running towards different parts of the map that aren't filled in, swinging my sword wildly. That is a shovel knight. Yeah, and if you're playing the main game. You can actually, he'll drop armor that will turn you into Shovel Knight. And so as Miriam, you can play as Shovel Knight. But since no one drops items in Zangarang mode, in Zangin space, no one can hear you scream a jod mode. Did they make Shovel Knight? Did 505 make Shovel Knight? I don't know. I feel like this must have been another Kickstarter. Because it's not called Shovel Knight, it's called the Shovel Armor. So I don't know if it's just a tribute or if it's a Kickstarter specific thing. Yacht Club did. Okay. So maybe it's a tribute. It's tough to say. Now that's what I call Shovel Knight. Man, Brando Show, after your Harry Potter stream Friday, when we were when we have volume one, when we were when uh, there was the brief conversation with Garrett and I talking about jamming. I figured out how to plug my drums into my computer. <laughs> it's it's tricky, but it's possible. I can actually I can plug my drum kit into the switcher or not or sorry, I can plug my drum kit into the mixer that I'm currently using to funnel my microphone into the computer. So I could Obviously, there's a huge latency concerns because like my signal would have to come out of the drums into the mixer, into the computer, make it out, and then I would have to somehow hear. I don't actually know what instruments Garrett plays. Actually, I just assumed the guitar, but I don't actually know what kind of instruments Garrett plays. A drum live stream, technically possible, I assume. I don't know how entertaining that would be. He plays like 19 of them. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't, I don't know that I can claim a number quite that high. <laughs> Certainly not if I have to be able to play them with any skill. Piano and harmonica are good. Oh my god, I wish I knew how to play the harmonica. I have a whole set of harmonicas. 
and in I have like a whole box of different keys of harmonicas, and I just I've just I don't know how to get good at them. There was a while there when I was just had a harmonica with me at all times. <laughs> the go-get of those things, uh, the melodica. I still love it when he busts out the harmonica during karaoke. That would be such a baller move. That'd be the most baller karaoke move. Play, accompany yourself on the harmonica. Especially if you're doing like a Bob Dylan song. You could do a duet with Bob Dylan on the harmonica. That would be so much karaoke swag. <laughs> Man, the last time I did karaoke, I scared the bejesus out of some poor Chinese folks. I was in China, and it was actually for one of the documentaries, and we went to a, a karaoke bar, and I decided to do DMX's X Gonna Give It To You," <laughs> And I went as hard in the paint as I could. I gave them as close as I could, as close as I possibly could to the full DMX experience. And our poor guides and translators and grips were just not sure what to make of it. Cause I'm tall, right? Like I'm tall and uh, I was uh, moving a lot. And of course DMX's X gonna give it to you is pretty aggressive. <laughs> Garrett is the king of karaoke. I started I started to gather that when when he was doing a when he and his family just had a fun karaoke night. DMX is homophobic AF. Yeah. Weird day when I realized that. I haven't looked that much into DMX. I didn't really I mean I've I've, I've not I don't doubt it. I I can't comment intelligently either way. That is sad though. So it's too bad. Disappointing, I guess. Wait, can I go directly to the Realm of Giants? X Gonna Give It To You is the song that I'm referencing. Oh. Have I just not listened to the lyrics that closely? Put in work and it's all for the kids. Huh. I'll have to reflect on that. How are you gonna explain Comstatic? <laughs> yeah. This is a problem I've been having a lot recently, actually, where there's like material that I enjoy. Well, I mean, a perfect example that uh, Brando can, can comment on because we discovered it together was finding out that Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft was a like a turbo racist. And you can definitely see shades of it in, in his literature, but also it's just, I really like the Lovecraftian universe. You know, like all the elder gods and mad, you know, realms of madness and ancient evils and stuff like that. But the author is uh, just a real... He was so racist, other racists told him to chill out with the racism. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> like, everyone, everyone else is like, okay, man. Like, let's... Come on. It's got to consume responsibly. The only thing you can do. Yeah. It's just really disappointing when material that I enjoy reading or listening to or watching or whatever... Uh... HP is super, super racist, but yeah. Uh, but his work has been repurposed for good. Yeah, and they've, like, folks have built, you know, between just stuff that I know about. Uh, you know, stuff, like, there's the Elder Gods in World in the War Warcraft mythos that, of course, bled over into Hearthstone with, like, Nazoth and uh, Cthulhu and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been repurposed for good. Yeah, like, hentai. <laughs> spooky tentacles and stuff yeah just a real a real use for good uh situation uh you can like problematic media as long as you recognize and talk about the problematic aspects it's been long enough it no longer supports racism it's okay yeah like DMX. <laughs> yeah like dmx and lovecraft dmx lovecraft i'm in a I'm, like there was a long time our go-to road trip media of choice like when our family i remember we we drove all the way up to the adirondacks and one of the things we listened to was a comedy album of Bill Cosby. And now it's like, oh man, <laughs> we had it, it, the that specific album has a lot of good memories wrapped up in it because we drove to the Adirondacks and went camping and canoeing and kayaking and stuff, and we drove through, learned how to hang glide and all kinds of stuff. 
And the album was fun to listen to. It was funny. But, uh. <laughs> uh. I guess what I'm saying is I'm the real victim here, right? Like, I'm... I'm the real victim. <laughs> that's the, I think that's the thesis of what I'm complaining about. <laughs> uh, there's also an allowed change period, not to get controversial, but the, like the James Gunn stuff. Uh, it's been a while, that was a different person. Demand a sincere apology, acknowledge it, and move on. If people are irredeemable, then cancel culture is unchecked power. <laughs> yeah, to an extent. The ability of of folks to just get canceled. Do I still need to even take the train? I guess so. Am I going to be timed? The first time you ride this train, there's a time limit and everything. Oh, if people, just as a concept, if people are irredeemable, then they will be canceled forever. 